What is up, everybody? This is Omega Belmong here with, of course, a look at uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Of course, like I said, I'm playing through this, doing my playthrough, so I just made my character, as you see from the first video, and it's my character. He kind of looks like Gohan a bit. We get a look at Shenron here. Uh, of course, if you haven't seen the beginning of the game, you actually get summoned by somebody who sounds like Trunks, which I'm pretty sure is Trunks. Uh, he needs help with this uh, problem he has. So, of course, and then there's Trunks. So, of course, you can't, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, you would you're totally know who, sure. I'll have to who is who. To so, For now, he sounds kind of weird because he sounds a little bit rough. <gasps> We're going to have to fight Trunks with his sword. That's not cool. I don't like to. I don't like to fight Trunks with his sword. But uh, before, before we get started here, uh, I didn't show you guys at the end of my character creation. I actually, t ask, ask you, uh, you know what, you know, finest style do you like? Do you like it up close, uh, which gives you more striking uh, power, maybe more striking skills? Do you like to be in the back where you know you're blasting uh, energy beams, energy balls, and things like that, which gives, of course, more Kai powers. And of course, you want to be a little bit of both, so more of a balanced type. Uh, of course, I pick balanced type. I like a little bit of both. I'm not going to excel in anything. I'm just going to be good. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. But anyways, here's our first fight: uh, Trunk Trunks test, which is win conditions, defeat Trunks, and lose conditions as none. Of course, I guess you can't lose. You're supposed to win, I guess. And we're going to go through this real quick here. We got our R1 to... Oh, I'm not going to talk about that, but I, I could explain it while we play it. Uh, you got R1 to lock on. Square is to do your, uh, your uh, punch attacks, or any kind of attacks, I guess. Triangle is more... I guess it's a launch. I don't know what that triangle is, but... Uh, we're going to do that. And then... You got your L1 here to block. You got your circle to do energy memes. And your R2 is to actually fly towards them. And then X, I don't know what X does. X kind of just, I guess, moves around with the, the, uh, you know, the jump like that. And of course, what's, oh yeah, okay, R2 is... All your attacks here. You're kind of like your special attacks. You got your triangle, meteor crush, crash, and that's how it is. Then you got your consecutive energy beam, boom, 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 boom. kind of like a almost a Vegeta like uh, attack there. A little brash in his attacks. Uh, let's see, he's gonna attack us. We'll hold triangle there. We'll launch back here. Okay, so and then of course it, talk, it tells you that you can string attacks together. So, ooh, that one's a new one. L two R two. Let's see how how we get our let's see how we get our uh, special attacks up. Oh, damn it. I'm guessing that little a uh, bar, little like yellow bar is your special attack. So once, once that fall, you probably have to press L2, R2. And then, uh, of course, it'll, it'll open up a different menu. Just like when you do your special attacks, it opens up a different menu and you can launch it. So uh, here we go. I've never seen this screen before. This is all new to me. This is my first time playing it. So, uh, of course, we got our score earned, 221. Uh, next... Of course, it's probably going to level me up. Uh, let's see that real quick here. Uh, and then, of course, Zeddy Earn. In this game, you can buy different things for your character. And, of course, uh, what do we get? Quest, uh, quest Success, Vanquisher. What is that? Defeat an enemy and no sweat. Remaining health? Okay. So, these give you different things uh, after a battle. Yeah, it's going to level me up. Three attributes. Attribute points. You were chosen. We'll see what this chosen is about. Sorry for attacking you, by the way. I'll introduce myself. I'm Trunks, and I'm currently on a mission. As you can see, this place, it's not the world you're familiar with. 
This is the Toki Toki world, where the flow of time gathers. You can call us the Time Patrol. When history goes off course, a false timeline is created. We work to correct any of these changes to history. As Time Patrol members, we'll fight all throughout time. Sometimes, we deal with legendary fighters or dangerous forces. What you think? Would you like to test your power here? See how effective it is? Oh, right. I should probably explain a few things first. Look around. In this space, there are many other Time Patrol members. If you'd like, go ahead and talk to them. I'll hear your answer after you've had the chance. Alright, so I am back after that cutscene there. Of course, Time Patrollers sounds a little bit weird. I know it is, but uh, this is the game itself. Uh, you're in this little hub world, which you can do with different things. Uh, we'll check right here real quick. I got chat list, chat log, change target movement, of course. I uh, got your map, emotes, uh, check players, jump, uh, speak to and decide, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, what is this? Display map. Okay, this is our map. Okay, we'll just get, take a look at that real quick. Let's work down here. So this is our hub world. This is where uh, people are. If you're playing the online portion of this game, people who are running around are actually real people. Are other uh, players that are playing the Dragon Ball uh, Xenoverse game. So that's pretty cool. You, you can you know invite people. Uh, play different, you know, fights and things like that. Of course, right now we're not. I don't think. I, I don't think I'm playing online. So this is all single player uh, stuff, which is still a hub world. And like, if you see from what he said there, you can actually talk to different people here. And uh, of course, they give you different little, uh, you know, little uh, speech bubbles there, and then stuff like that. Uh, we're going to go hit R2 here. We're going to look at our map. Of course, you can see from there. Let's go around and look at. The hub world. That's probably the best way to do is to check your surroundings first before you do anything else. Uh, nothing here. What does this thing do? A pedestal to place your... Oh, okay. So I'm guessing if you collect all the Dragon Balls, you can actually go... Oh, I can't jump in there. I wish you could. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can, you know, put your the Dragon Balls there and then maybe make a wish or something like that. Not don't know what it is yet. Uh, local battle reception. I'm guessing that's where you want to fight uh, locally between uh, you know different uh, controllers like you and your brother or you and your friend or something like that. Locally, world tournaments. I'm guessing that's a way to get you to to play like a like I said like a tournament style game. So let's head over here. Like I said, that's Dragon Ball. Uh, let's go over here and of course these guys like you said these guys are the guys with the quest maybe some kind of quest you can take on uh, and see what it is uh, what is this let's talk to this guy Jared uh, you can ask me database is loading uh, nothing I kind of want to talk to these guys but I don't really want to do them yet talk to them yet oh, okay because I can't do anything there yet let's check down here Time space delivery. I guess this is like your mailbox. Yeah, nothing yet. And we'll just keep doing our little travels here. We got the uh, offline quest, online quest. Um, I want to see this place here real quick. Team registration. Let's go talk there real quick. Oh, okay. Okay, so the only way I, I guess I could do that is if I keep playing the game. What is this thing? Information. Now's news. Leaderboards. Online battles is probably where you can fight people online. Offline battles, probably 1v1 type deal against computer. Uh, another team registration. Okay, yeah. So let's move on to the last part of the map here. There's a lot of stuff there, so we'll see what, what that stuff gives you. And of course, you're going to see me jump a lot, because I tend to do that at most. I just kind of like, hey, hey, hey. 
Uh, mixing machine, I'm guessing you get different materials you can fix, or you can mix together to make something. Uh, item shop. Let's, let's see what he has first. Oh, can't buy anything yet. Um, what is up here? Another information board. Accessory shop. Oh, come on. I need a scouter. Oh, is that open yet? Maybe later. Uh, ooh. Oh, I thought it's... It's 18! Uh, clothing shop. I'm guessing you can change the way your character looks. Uh, what else do we have here? We got a skills shop. What is this one? Oh, it is a skills shop. Never mind. Skills shop. What is this? Present. Oh, time space delivery. I gotta get used to knowing all this. Another item shop. Another mixing shop. That's very MMO ish because. Sometimes if you look at it, it has two sides where it has most an item shop and a mixing shop. So no matter which side you come from, it'll it'll give you a, a different. You know you don't have to run all the way to the other side to, to do it. I think that's pretty cool how they do that. So let's actually go back here and take a look at uh, talk to some of these guys with the question marks on top of their heads. Let's see what they have for us. So, if you're worried, someone was around, there's a rumor around a special elite member. Not exactly expected. It's time patrol, which means you come to me. I'll teach you what it means to be time patroller. Oh, okay. So, I guess it's really nothing yet. Um, from the looks of it, it's probably just going to talk about how uh, how you want to be a time patroller. I did see the guy with the yellow or the green uh, question mark on his head. Maybe he's a different type of character you can interact with. Um, it looks like they're just telling me what they they do. What what are type controls? Uh, yeah. Zico here. Let's talk. About... Oh, cool. Energy cup capsule. Uh, are these in? Nope. Equipment change. I don't got anything yet. So, what is a Z soul? I want to know what that is. Is that like some kind of Super Saiyan thingy or something? Uh, oh, okay. Attributes here. Uh, like I said, I did level up, so we're going to add some attributes here. What do I want as my character? Um, I'm. I want to be. I want to be. Um, oh wow, this is going to be hard. Uh, we're going to go with Kai. I mean, max health, of course. Uh, let's go for basic attack and a Kai blast super. No. Yeah, we'll go with Kai blast super. I wish they told us what they do, but I, I, it is what it is, I guess. You kind of can see you see what it is already. So, change battle, recover small capsule. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so he just gave me an item which I can use in game uh, when I'm battling. So that's pretty cool. It's like, like I say, it's like almost MMO. This is kind of taking it off of that. Oh, what's that? The one, the Dragon Ball Z game before this one. Oh man, I totally forgot that. The, uh, Battle for Z or something like that. Uh, I love that game to death because it's like a MMO with, you know, but in a Dragon Ball Z game because you got your guys who can heal, you got guys who can, uh, you know, uh, cause damage, you got guys who can are better at defense t uh, style, uh, you know, where they could take a little bit more hits. You got guys who are yeah. So that reminds totally reminds me of, of a, a MMO and hopefully this kind of takes that and brings it up to the next level a bit make me in integrate it a bit with the game here so we'll see how that goes uh, of course more talking let's go over here and talk to the last I saw a few guys here with the red uh, question mark on top of their head so uh, let's talk to them and we'll talk to trunks after that uh, I guess we don't have anybody here see this is my MMO Style. This is, not, this is how I always tend to do. I know it gets kind of weird just looking at it, but <laughs> I, I tend to do that a lot when I play, uh, you know, MMOs. And if they give me a jump button, right, I should say MMOs. Period. I mean, it's I do that in any game that gives me that jump option. I'm just like, uh, oh, circle, 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 circle. Give me that jump. So let's talk to Trunks here. We got enough. What? I talked to everybody. What's up, I had to talk to, like, these guys here? I don't want to talk to them. I 
But anyways, I I'll figure that out. So I'm, I'm going to cut this uh, video a little short here. Actually, it's probably been a, a little too long. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, the video here. And uh, hopefully the next video you guys can catch me playing a little bit part of the story mode or whatever story mode, online mode or whatever I I'm trying to do here for the playthrough. And hopefully... Uh, you guys come back and uh, enjoy the game with me and if you guys don't have the game I definitely go buy, go out and buy it and I have never said what system it's on I think it's on uh, Xbox 360 uh, PS3 PS4 Xbox one and Steam or PC I should go I, I don't know if it's on Mac yet or anything like that uh, of course I am playing on the PS4 I'm a big fan of this game uh, so far, I'm, I'm enjoying, uh, loving it because it's the MMO take of a game, of a Dragon Ball Z game that we never got to play. Unless you caught it before it got uh, taken down. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see everybody next time on some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse.